So in a period of gaming where the masses are consumed by counting pixels, resolution numbers, bragging about how many settings they can turn up to ultra, it's almost kind of poetic that one of the best looking games this generation is a game that looks like it was pulled right out of the 1930s and has virtually no customizations when it comes to moving sliders and everything else within the video settings. But this game doesn't need it. And it is more fun to look at than a lot of the AAA games where millions are poured into the graphics and it costs $60 for the price of admission. Yet here is Cuphead that can be played for $20. And really even less than that if you're on the PC and looking in the right places. I was able to pick it up for around $15 on Green Man Gaming, which I think was a steal. But do not let its cheap price or fun cartoon graphics make you believe for a second that this is a game that the vast majority of people are going to be able to pick up and run through with no trouble. A Cuphead, as I'm sure you've heard, is tough. And for those gamers who have grown up on games that let them dumb it way down in the settings for easy access, those gamers are going to be in for a world of pain and suffering when trying to run through this game on even the regular difficulty. But the toughness is really the brilliance behind the game because I gotta tell you it is exhilarating when you finally beat that boss that you died more times than you want to admit and whenever you first started you were sitting there thinking how in the world am I gonna be able to beat this person you know and so you're trying things out over and over and over but whenever you finally nail it it feels great and, and whenever you make it to the final boss, you feel like you have earned every bit of that. Like there was nothing given to you in this game. And I really don't think there's going to be a whole lot of people who will be able to say that they made it to the end of the game. And I already know of quite a few people who have already given up on it. And I think it's a real shame because, man, it feels good whenever you finally make it. Uh, the game forces you to get better. If you don't have the patience for that you're not going to make it. It is tough but fair. And everything in this game just fits together just wonderfully. I mean, the characters, the art style, the boss animations, the transformations of the bosses, the soundtrack, everything about this game is damn near perfect for fans of platformers. Um, if, if I had to criticize anything, there's only really two things that I could think about that I would criticize. And first is the lack of true multiplayer, which I've talked about in a previous video, um, where you can play with your friends online. Now, there's local co-op, and the devs have stated that they are looking into adding multiplayer. And I think based on how successful the game has launched, I think there's a really good chance that that will eventually come. Um, again, not everybody has somebody who can you know, play local co-op with them on the couch, and so it would be a really nice feature to be able to jump online and play this game with your friends and see which one of you <laughs> has to tap out first. Uh, if you're on PC, there is a workaround that can give you online multiplayer access, so if you want to know how to do that, check out one of my later videos, uh, or one of my most recent videos. I posted up a video showing you how to do it, but nothing really beats having the feature built into the game. The other thing that I wasn't as impressed with was the run and gun stages. During the development of the game, whenever people were talking about, you know, playing it at different conventions and they were talking about uh, what the game is going to be like, I was actually a little disappointed whenever they announced that the game was basically a series of boss fights. And I'm like, oh man, I kind of wish there was something more to it. I wish there were some of those run and gun stages. Well, they added some of the run and gun stages. And I admit, I was wrong. <laughs> like, those were the weakest stages in the game. And I think it's because, you know, that's what they, that, well, it's not what they originally intended. And so they put them in because I think a lot of people, like myself, were wanting those stages. 
and I wouldn't say that they were terrible. I would just say that I had a lot more fun and enjoyment out of the boss fights themselves. I also enjoyed the plane stages too because some people said that they didn't like those, but I actually liked the plane stages. It was just the on the ground run and gun stages that weren't my favorite. But still, there's very few of those actually in the game. The vast majority of the game is still what the developers had in mind from the beginning, which is boss fights. But I mean, that's about it. I mean, even looking for things to criticize, it's hard to come up with a lot, at least from my perspective. There are very few games where I hope we see DLC in a game, but this is one of the few games where I hope we do. Like, I hope they announce DLC soon for this game, because if they do, I'm buying it day one. I loved it. Cuphead. They nailed everything about this game and I couldn't get enough of it. Uh, even after beating it, I'm looking back to go through and, and maybe, I guess, torture myself a little bit more and try to go through on Experts to see if I can survive that. But for $20, absolute still worth every penny in my book. If you got an Xbox or a PC, I definitely recommend checking out Cuphead. That is for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh.